This is the FLX control system. See, it says FLX plus. It requires the plus control to operate the wave system. So this is the main screen of the FLX. And as you would walk through to make adjustments to the wave system, you would pick the receiver that, that you wanted to choose that was set up under wave. So in this case, I'll pick the receiver group. I'll pick the very first group, one through eight, and then choose the receiver that is operating wave. And in this case, we have, it's called the wave wall. So we pick that receiver, and this takes you to the receiver screen. And in this screen, this is where you control the times, turn it on, turn it off, enable, disable, activate your valves, turn your pump on, turn it off. And we'll just quickly just walk through this. So this is the pump screen and we'll touch the pump button. So that takes you to the pump screen and it's showing that the green button is um, subdued with the red button highlighted. So that means the pump is ready to turn on and you would just simply go back to the receiver screen and then turn on the receiver with that green button right there and the system would take off. Um, behind this screen is the graph screen. So this tells you the features of the wave and what's actually going on. So in uh, this particular mode right here, we see that the valve is set at 74%. And that tells me as an experienced user that I'm in a stream flow mode at 74%. And it also tells me that my pump hertz is running 55%. And, as, uh, uh, and that's fine for this, for this application. So we have the valve, servo valve percentage. We have the, the pump hertz uh, setting. Now we have the air pull time. This is in milliseconds. This, tells you how much air between pulses you're going to put in in time. And then the bottom box, then the last box, is the material pull time. So in milliseconds, 2,000 is equal to 2 seconds. So we have uh, those settings. Those are the four settings to operate the wave. It's very simple. Um, so these, once these are set, when you're running your system, you really don't need to go back and adjust these unless you want to change to a different uh, recipe. So we'll go back to the receiver screen and we'll take a look at this little box up here and that's called PLC recipe and it's telling us now that it's disabled. But by touching that button, that lights up. The control box is for enabling a re recipe uh, and a, a disabling one, creating a recipe, editing a recipe, saving a recipe. This walks you through all those functions so that you can, um, you can make recipes and change them. So in this mode, we're running in a manual mode, so the recipes are disabled. But it would be real easy to just enter these same parameters right here on the recipe and have it run automatically.